All right, guys. Hi, welcome back to the GX community, folks. Also want to welcome our Toyota 4Runner brothers and sisters out there for joining us because I know there is a group of you guys that actually tune in to my channel. How do I know? Because I know. Okay, because you guys are asking 4Runner questions. That's how I know. So today, I have a very special treat coming from one of the leading manufacturers of off-road lighting and equipment. Can you guess who it is? I can give you one big guess right now. It's LASFIT, L-A-S-F-I-T. Yes, you heard me right, LASFIT. So when I found out LASFIT made all weather floor mats, I really, really had to get my hands on a set. So why another set of floor mats when I've owned about five or six of them already from different manufacturers? Because, my friends, the great thing about the internet is it gives us the opportunity to discover and compare what's out there. And from that, we can ultimately choose what we think is the best. All right. Whew. All right. So what is the best? The best for me might not be the best for you and vice versa. That's why we have channels like this that actually do product reviews. So out of about 50 or so company that's actually reached out to me to do a product review, I've only chosen about five or six to actually place into my channel. And there's a reason why. There's actually, there's a couple of reasons why. Customer feedback is super important. And more importantly, whether or not they are an industry leader. I don't know about you folks, but I could tell a lot about a company on how they package their products in the box that they come with. So let's go ahead and open this up. Look at this. Look at this. Here you guys go, driver's side floor liners and passenger front side floor for liners. I'm going to tell you right offhand, these are a beauty. I'm letting you guys know right now, according to the ridges, these are the highest ridges I've seen out of all my floor mats. I'm going to do a measurement with my calipers in a minute. But another thing I noticed, these ridges go from all the way in the back all the way to the front. Even the sidekick right here where your emergency brake has ridges that my other floor mats don't have. Right here, some have metal. This one looks like it's been laser etched on here. It's not a sticker or anything like that, so it's not gonna rub off. Another thing that I'm gonna be looking at is how exact and accurate these fitments are in those lock panels on my carpet. Look at these ridges. Good Lord. Very nice, guys, very nice. Here you go, this is the middle row floor liner, and there is one thing that stands out that I haven't seen in other floor liners. LASFIT actually included their laser etched name in the middle row floor liners that other companies don't do. I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to go ahead and take out my old floor mats, the ones that I really, really love. And I'm going to compare it with LASFIT just like I did with the last floor liner I reviewed. So if you go ahead and take a look, look how high these walls are. I am going to actually um, measure the walls right here. These are one of the highest walls I've actually seen contour to your carpet. I also see they have these round plugs right here. I'm sure they are for a different vehicle, maybe a Toyota 4Runner, I don't know. I just know that the Lexus GX 460s do not have this right here in the middle row. Kind of excited guys. I kind of want to put this in my vehicle already. This looks beautiful. Let's go ahead and compare it to my old floor liners. Here's the moment of truth guys. I'm going to compare the last fit with a set of floor liners I've been using all year long only because it's one of my favorite, Oedro Corporation. I have been using Oedro floor liners for over a year now and I love these floor liners and I have yet to find one that was equally comparable or better than. So I'm going to go ahead and measure the ridges. I'm going to look for the highest point right here. Highest ridge comes out to 250 thousandths. I'm going to look for the highest ridge right here. Uh, 
it comes to 330 thousandths. These ridges are so much higher. Another visual, visual difference is this extends out, that doesn't. I'm going to also say that the kick right here that has ridges where Oidro doesn't, this kick is a lot lower, this kick is a lot higher. I, and look at the ridges, they go all the way to the front, all the way to your gas pedal. This one lacks it right here, which I'm kind of surprised because I really love this. So let's go ahead and put this in the vehicle. Now we're going to test for fitment to make sure that this fits the contour of the Lexus GX460 floor. Let's see if it's easy to lock in. What do you guys think? Look at that. Okay, here are the passenger floor liners. Now, can you guys tell a huge difference? I can see them in two different places. One, this covers the carpet underneath your seat. This stops right where your seat starts. Right here, this extends up your carpet and this stops short of it. This also has ridges right here that goes all the way up if you want to extend your feet. This side doesn't. Let's go ahead and put it into the vehicle. Look at that folks, wow. Look at this, extends past the seat. The carpet area extends past the seat. Look at the contour, goes all the way up to the firewall. Look at this, these are actually beautiful. Here's the middle row seat guys. Can you see a visible difference? I can tell you right offhand right now. There's a couple that I see. I see the last fit name in the middle row. Right here it doesn't have their name. Oidro didn't put it. Um, and also in the middle row there's no ridges. Right here last fit added the ridges in the middle row. But look at the design of the ridges in the middle row. Isn't that a work of art? This right here looks really standard to me. It does its job, but it does look very standard. If you want beauty, look at the pure difference. Now, we are going to take a look at the walls right here. As you can see, they have walls right here that contours to the floor. And it also has really, really high walls in the back. So let me take you guys a little closer. Now we are taking a look towards the third row seat. Look how super high these walls are to protect the carpet underneath the seat. Now if you take a look at my Oedros, they are a lot lower. And right in the middle there is no walls that contour up. If you take a look over here, look how huge that wall up is. Let's go ahead and put this in the middle row. Can't wait to see what these look like. Look at that, huh? Woo! Look at that. I do know that my prior floor liner that I reviewed, it had to overlap on top of here or I had to stick it underneath the center console. This is a perfect cut. Last fit did mention to me that this middle row floor liner is for a couple of trims for the GX460 and for the Forerunners and for Prados. So if your model has a third row seat, and it has this step panel, we're gonna to have to trim it right here, which is no big deal. We trim it and it'll be a perfect fit. 
Otherwise, if you don't have a third row seat and don't have this step panel right here, then this would just sit perfectly flush, okay? I'm going to follow the contour of this step plate right here to make my cuts. And I'm just going to cut straight across using a pair of home scissors. Look at that. 